some of the rivers you are trying to resurrect, it is not the devil that dried them up. It is God. Some of the doors you are busy knocking, 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 knocking. It is not the devil. It is God. And then God showed up and said, I have, guy, get up and go to Zarepha. I have commanded a widow woman. Now, the word, mark the word command. There to sustain you. So, the woman that I've been praying and praying and praying and praying did not hear what God said. Because she was going to take her last meal and eat it. When the man of God showed up, she did not recognize him as a man of God. And God said, I've commanded that. So, when God says they have commanded, that means he spoke to her, she didn't hear. Now, let's see what the man of God did. Wicked man of God. Wicked, wicked. Niger Twitter will have dealt with him. Him, ask for water. Turn back. You know, I said, uh, can you bring me a little cake? The woman said, man, uh, let me tell you the truth. I have just a little flour and a little oil. And to show how hopeless she was, she said, I'm gathering two sticks. So when I read that part, it amazes me. That shows somebody that doesn't have hope. I mean, who gathers two sticks? I mean, you gather like a bondu. But she already knew there was no hope. Why? There was famine in the land. She had no hope, no expectation. And God had been talking, she did not hear. So, I've got into six. I'm going to make it for my son and I that we may eat and die. And for you to know that it can't be enough. You see, the portion of a woman and a boy is not like the portion of a man. Hello? Is somebody here with me? How many people have raised men here? Women, you have raised men. When they raid your kitchen, it's not like when your daughter's coming. Your daughter's just turned the thing like this, but when the men come in, you will know a man has come in. You know? You bring a full loaf of bread and it disappears. One man. The daughter can eat it like four or five times. One man. In fact, some men, they just take the loaf and... <laughs> and the thing disappears. Now, listen to the wicked man of God. He said, make me first. So, make me a man portion. He's saying, make me everything. You know, it didn't start with don't say the Lord. You know, if you start with don't say the Lord, it would have been nice. It didn't start with don't say the Lord. He said, make of me first. And afterwards, make for your son. This man is no reasoning. No. Then I said, for thus saith the Lord. Why did I go into that story? In your positioning, God will sometimes ask you to do things that don't make sense. It will take you out of your comfort zone. Are you with me, man of God? I need to tell you this. You see, when we come to church, women are better givers than men. Sorry. Yeah, women are better. Women are quick to make sacrifices. Men, we think about it. Bill A, Bill C, Bill D, This one is due at 12 o'clock. This one is due at... 3 o'clock. <laughs> Next year, God. Next year, God. But the positioning of God in bringing the man of God is that this woman will yield. And upon her yielding, there will be a release of sustenance beyond imagination. Because as long as that famine lasted, it wasn't just herself, her son, and Elijah that were sustained, her entire household. You no, know, she had decided to forget about her household. This one is me and my son. There is so much God wants to do beyond just you. God still plants men. He planted Elijah in that family to sustain that family. It will move you. It's moved me out of this country to another country, and when it was time, it moved me back in again. If I didn't understand the movement, I would have been stuck. I would have been suffering. I'd be like, God, you are not faithful. You said, you said, you said. Yes, he said, but he's saying. Can you tap him and say, do you know what he's saying now? So the lampstand, there's a place for the lamp, and there's also a place for you. Until you find your place, you've got to pray. Tarry in the place of prayer. Get in the zone. Say, God, show me where my place is. Show me where I am to bloom. And I don't care how old you are, it is not too late to find your place. 
some people are in the wrong trade, some people are in the wrong business. You see, I understood long ago that there was a certain um, blessing upon my lineage. Okay? Every family line, I know in Africa we know the curses. Every family line has a blessing. Every family line has something upon them. When you read and study the Bible very well, read the genealogies, they had corporate trades along clan lines, along tribal lines, along ethnic lines. Every nation had something they were renowned for. Are you getting it? You've got to know what God has blessed in your family. You are, it's not every family that we have disruptors. The disruptor, someone who just shows up and goes in another way like John the Baptist. You know, Not every family has disruptors. Most families, there is something God has blessed in your families. Just find it and you'll be fine. In my family, we speak. That's what we do. We speak. We speak. Everyone in my family has taught. My father taught. All of us have taught school. And we teach people. All the ones who went into corporate service, whatever, they thought they became trainers. Are you getting it? That is where we flourish. That is what God blessed in our lineage. Hello? Am I speaking to men this morning? Find what God has blessed in your lineage. I don't sell palm wine. I don't sell a recharge card. I don't even vend it at a mega level. Because that is not what is blessed in my lineage. I can invest in those things. Are you with me? No, there are things you can invest in. But you are not involved in. You put your energy in what God has blessed. We all, if you are familiar with the, and your family of Yoruba land, okay? You know they all play drums. You know they really don't learn it. Once a child picks it, it starts, and within a little while, he gains mastery of it. He hears and he knows. That's the fact they're so blessed with music. All the, I, I remember several years ago, there's this family friend of mine. I went to know that, you know, like five boys, and they all play the guitar, the bass, the 12 strings. They play anything with string. Anything. So I said to them, guys, I'm interested in learning the bass guitar. Please come and teach me. They had their youngest, but I think it was about six or seven, to teach me. He was playing Laboriel. I said, teach me ABC. The guy goes, and he was slapping the things. Ah. God bless your ministry. So that is how I did not learn to play the bass anymore. Uh, are you with me? But it flows. They, they, they don't struggle. I mean, the guy knows it. He can't even tell me how he knows it. It was about six or seven. He, he can't tell me how he knows it. He knows it. He can play it well. He just needs to hear it. And it just flows. Find out what flows in your lineage, man of God. That's what I'm saying to you. You will not struggle. 